What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Frank. This morals over money. So, I want to bring y'all a story <clears throat> today. A story that taught me a valuable lesson. Uh, so, when this incident happened, this completely changed the way that I view this certain topic or certain issue. Um, and I had a problem with it. And I'm a lot of us do. Um, it's a very common issue. So that's why I decided to speak on it and share it with you guys. What I'm going to talk about is road rage, right? So I spend a lot of time driving, um, as you guys know, and I used to have an issue with road rage until something happened to me. Um, it was about two years ago that this happened and completely changed the way I look at, you know, road rage, the way I approach it, the way I interact with it, everything. Um, I used to participate in it. Now, not at all. I mean, none whatsoever. I'll go out of my way to avoid it. Uh, all that type of stuff. So me, Rachel and Major we were coming from the mall um, in our area and there's, so when you come from the mall, there's, there, it's three lanes, um, but it, it turns into two lanes very quick. So actually the, the, one of the lanes is just a merging lane. Um, so I was in that lane, we were in Rachel's car um, at the time she had a, a, a Chrysler Pacifica. It was a brand new car when we bought it. You know, it was a nice car. Um, so we were driving in that, right? There was a big white, a big, uh, gray truck right next to us. Um, that was not allowing us to merge over, right? And when I'm talking about a big truck, this truck was big. It uh, it had big ass tires. It was lifted. Um, it had one of those custom made bumpers that was like steel. It had a uh, uh, like those steel things in the front. I don't know what they're called, like brush guards or whatever. This was a big ass truck. Um, so I'm trying to merge over. The guy wouldn't let me. So, um. I finally, so I say, all right, well, I'm just going to slow down and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be able to, you know, merge over, um, behind him. So, like I said, since he wouldn't let me over, I just decided, all right, I'll slow down and I'll merge over, um, once he passes then he slowed down with me. So now I seen it was an issue that um, he just didn't want to let me over for whatever reason. I don't know. I didn't know the guy. We didn't have no interactions before that, right? So when I slowed down, he slowed down. I sped up, he sped up. So I end up like beeping the horn, um, probably, you know, threw him the middle finger um, but I remember I didn't see him, you know, cause his truck was so higher up than mine and it was on my left side, but it was so much higher up, um, that I couldn't really see him. I remember seeing there was a young girl in the passenger seat and that's really all I could see. Um, so then he started to get, he started to drive like real erratic and violent, like he was in front of me, all right? So he started slamming on the brakes, um, you know, like brake checking me. And then I, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go in the opposite lane. Um, he would like swerve over in front of me. And at first I was, I was sort of uh, like participating in it. You know what I mean? Like I was trying to get in front of him so I could cut him off. And then I quickly had stopped. And Rachel was like, yo, Major's in the car. Um, so I quickly had stopped, you know, I, I didn't even realize that my son is in the car and at the time he was two or three years old. Um, 
So once I realized that, I, I stopped playing. I was like, all right, Major's in the car. I lost my mother in a car accident. So when it comes to driving and, and driving fast and driving crazy, I don't participate in that shit. Um, I got caught up. My ego got caught up. So I did, right? So this goes on for a little while um, where he keeps on like brake checking me. So I just slowed completely down. Um, I didn't pull over or nothing. I just slowed completely down and was like, all right, he's going to get tired and just go up ahead of me, which he did. So he, he, um, he ended up going up ahead of me and he was probably, you know, maybe like, I would say probably like 10 car lengths ahead of me. And he, so I start driving, he sees me going and then he starts slowing down, right? Then when, when he starts slowing down, he comes to a light. So I start going slow because the last thing I want to do is uh, get into an altercation with him because for me, I know how I'm going to react in certain instances, right? So I'll try to just avoid them altogether because I know I have a bad temper, even though I, I learned to control it a lot. I, it's still there. You know, it's still there. If it gets awakened, it's not going to be good for nobody. And I'm not saying like I'm the toughest person in the world because it, it could lead to me being killed or me getting my ass kicked. It's it's just gonna not gonna be good for anybody, right? So I I pull up close to him and um now I'm in the I'm in the uh the left lane, he's in the right lane. So I pull up beside him and he puts his window down and starts like talking shit. Rachel's window was up at the time. So I'm driving, Rachel's in the passenger seat. So I put the window down. You know, I got control of the window on, on my side. I put the window down. I start arguing with him, curse him out. Um, and and uh, so I'm arguing with him, cursing him out. And there was something that I said. I don't remember what exactly I said, um, but if I'm not mistaken, I probably said something about the girl that was in his passenger seat. Um, like, you know, like that nut ass bitch or something like that, like insulted her and that set him off. Once I said that, that set him off. Um, and he just fucking grabbed his steering wheel and jerked it right into our car. So I seen him sort of coming over. So I tried to speed up so I could get away from him. So what it did is he didn't hit the front of our car. He ended up hitting the back sliding door where Major was sitting. Um, Major was in the middle. So he hit the side, the, the passenger, rear door, the van, the sliding door, caved that whole fucking thing in, caved it in. Mind you, we're in the middle of a four lane highway driving and this is what this guy does. So he hits us and mind you, we got the majority of this stuff on videotape because once I seen him driving crazy, I told Rachel, I said, yo, record because he's going to do something crazy. I just want to, you know, I always record everything. Whenever something gets crazy, I start recording so that I have proof. Okay. This is what happened. You know, for me, um, the video cameras, like my best friend, because I know with my record, the way I look, cops ain't going to believe me. So I have to feel like, I feel like I have to show proof, right? So nothing's better than a videotape. So I, I told, once it started, I told Rachel, yo, record, because I could tell this is gonna, the situation's gonna get out of hand. So we're recording the whole thing up to the point where he crashes into us. So once he crashes into us, I take the van and block his, his lane. So now, he can't, he can't go anywhere. The only thing he could do is literally drive around us, um, drive around us. And, you know, I, I was like, he's not, he's got to drive up on curbs. And I was like, he's not going to do that. Um, so, and from the impact, we had sort of both stopped, right? So 
I did that. I instantly hopped out of the van and I seen him uh, coming out of his car. So my instant thoughts was he just used his fucking truck as a weapon. Who knows if he has a gun or a knife or anything in that car that he's going to use as a weapon if he doesn't decide to use his, his vehicle as a weapon again, right? So around where I live, there's a lot of people that hunt. There's people, you know, so there's guns all over. Everybody got guns where I live at, except for me because of my record. So I, I'm, you know, I, I'm nervous now. It's I'm in panic mode now. It's like, all right, I gotta. There's there's a super threat. I gotta get to this threat and eliminate it as fast as possible before anything else happens, right? So I get out of the van and get to his car faster than he gets to me. It's not a game.